All right, so here it is. Red Cab Motorcycle Park on a Sunday when you can bring the red stickers. It's quite a circus out here. Come out here like in the summertime, um, it ain't like this. That's what I'm talking about, yeah! KLR 650 Gen 1. I think this one is a little, this might be newer than the one I have, the 92. It's pretty cool. Man, it's boner stock too. Boner stock with some, uh, I said, uh, Shinko 700 or something. All right, he's make here. I just got done riding the, um, the whatchamacallit, the Alta Redshift EX. Man, it's a lot of hoot <laughs> riding that thing around. Man, it just goes over the bumps, no problem. It's so light compared to this beast. So uh, the DR kind of sprung a leak on the fuel line. I, I keep on forgetting to replace it, you know. I, I know it looked bad and everything. I... Well, luckily I had all my trail side tools. That's why it's good to have all the gear all the time, right? You gotta be prepared for everything. So here we go, I'm gonna go head on trail one with the DR real quick. Man, this thing is so much lower than the <laughs> than that Alta. <laughs> this is a lot heavier than the Alta, and it doesn't spin the tires like that. For the little guy to go down, I guess. That's the worst place to stop, man. <laughs> Seriously. That's where, like, uh oh. Alright, well, I guess we get to go down this hill really slow. Like I said, the DR suspension is in pretty bad shape. I am in really bad shape, man. After riding that, uh, that free, that, uh, redshift, man, it was, uh, it's crazy. I got mad arm pump, dude. All right, here we go. This is much more manageable power. <laughs> Get that kind of air that the, the dirt bike gets. This is okay, it feels like everything is touching the bottom of it. There's the redshifts right there. Just gonna take it on the GP track real quick. It's been a long time since we've read the DR here. This is steep, dude. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's not wanting to turn because the handlebar is like kind of stuck. You are still re really easy to ride though. I'm kind of, I'm, I guess, it's not good to keep on jumping with this. The, the way my deer is set up, it's not good to jump, you know? Let's try to do it on these, whoops. Pretty good, pretty good, I like it. <laughs> oh, got the back sliding around there. Still, they are still a lot of fun, yeah. The 
suspension is okay. You just feel that weight. After riding a dirt bike and hopping on this, man, this thing is so heavy. The power is so docile on this bike, you know? And of course I'm riding adventure bike tires, so not the ideal tire to ride around here. Uh, I think I'll do, uh, I think I'll get a drink of water and then we'll do trail two. Uh, that was fun. Everything's still on the bike? Yep. Subframe still on there. I tried to test the empty braking out. It, I, could do, I could feel a little bit of the engine braking. They said maps three and four have all the engine braking. So, uh, but yeah, that's where, that's where it's at, man. But uh, I was on two like the whole time, and I could feel a little bit of engine braking, you know? Not too bad. Um, but uh, I felt like, uh, I, I felt like uh, I wish you could customize the, the regenerator braking se uh, settings, you know? So I'm just gonna take it easy. Shenanigans. Let's ride it like a dual sport. But uh, yeah, I I I wish uh, you could adjust the level of regen separate from the mapping. You know, I mean, I guess it's nice to have that. Like it's pretty set it and forget it type thing. I wish it had like some customizable modes and stuff. I wish it had a little bit more regen just for those, you know, really steep. But I, I, felt, I didn't feel like it was out of control going downhill at all, you know. It's fine. I thought it was okay. Let's do first gear, second gear, man. <laughs> it's really smooth though. They, they groomed the trails. I'm gonna go take it here on the ATV course real quick. I don't think I want to do the logs. <laughs> I feel more comfortable. There's a track, it looks like it's pretty full though. Holy shit, <laughs> that's like a pit there. Things like getting past my dirt bikes. some beans. <laughs> so much weight on the rear on this bike, man.
That's what that thing is designed for right now. Get some transitions there. Woo! Wanna work out? Wanna work out? Woo! All right, back to the pits. Your suspension is doing good, man. It's doing good. I still feel there's too much weight in the back of the bike. I'm having to have to goose the throttle a little bit to get the nose up. Not bad. Fabulous engine braking as usual. Very easy to stand on this bike. Woo, not bad. Not bad at all. Good job, DR. Definitely not as fast as you could go on that thing, but we got a lot of weight on the bike. We'll take a little break and we're gonna hit trail three. And we're out of here. We're out of here. And we're out. All right, he's me here. We're gonna hit up. Uh, gonna hit up trail three real quick. It's the longest trail, and then I'm gonna head home. I wish I had my dirt bike right now, you know, that would be real fun right there. Well, let's just take it at an easy pace. Really easy pace. See how the DR handles that, you know? I know, I always like to go balls out here, but I'm tired. I'm tired, I haven't ridden in a long time, man. I haven't ridden in the dirt. And I can see I'm quite rusty. We're gonna go do the hill climb here. You see that tractor power of the DR650? Yeah! <laughs> Easily, man. If you are on a two-stroke, you just have to go bonsai up that thing, man. Well, not really, but... Depends on the two-stroke, I guess. All right, we'll just take, like I said, we're gonna take it e real easy, man. This is an adventure bike. I plan to ride it like an adventure bike. Tires are doing okay. They're slipping, slipping a little bit. I didn't air them down. I don't want to bend the wheels, you know. The suspension on those Altas were so soft. They just soaked everything up, you know. I'm not used to that, you know. The VR is so stiff compared to those. But it has to be, you know. Dude, that's the sense it just soaked it right up. 
It would stop the Earth's ascension, man. It'd be all over the place, I'll tell you that. All right, we're gonna go down this steep section here. Go down it real easy, man. section here it may be very rocky too. Let's go take the easier way. Woo! <laughs> no problem. This tractored up that thing. Some whoops. It okay. All right, we're gonna continue on trail three right here. Getting my groove in. I'm remembering how I'm supposed to be cornering at this bad boy. We'll just kind of chill here. So this is kind of like a shakedown for the Cogent Dynamics Mojave Pro shock. And it's doing great, it's doing fabulous without the weight on the bike it, and it can pretty much handle anything almost. Alright, I know there's a very steep downhill section here. Probably like right here. Actually, let me go get a picture here real quick. There's like a shortcut here somewhere else. It's cool. Alright, back on the bike. Trail 3. Trail 3 is the longest one. Take it easy. That's a steep downhill. Why did I stop here? That's a good question. This is actually a shortcut right here. I don't want to take the long way. Why did I stop on the steep part, right? <laughs> Try not to get too much speed. Holy shit, man. It's already rolling fast. All right, just let it go, let it go, let it go. It's fine, we're not going too fast. and up. Up to the left route. Don't slow down, don't slow down. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. I turned the bike. I mean I leaned the bike in the air a little bit. Oh, let's do this little course here. Not bad for a crippled uh, DR650 cactus puncher. Well, I guess if it was crippled, it wouldn't be able to do this stuff, right? I'll just give the word handicapped. Oh, the dude behind me is catching up.
Don't let him pass you by the time you get to the end. Alright, onward we go. Another steep, rocky climb a little bit. I remember this used to be a lot rockier. Gap that, no problem. Climb it, no problem. Flew over those bumps, no problem. Alright, we're gonna go left here. Let's go, uh, I don't know, they say both say more difficult. That one has a steep downhill. Oh well. It's okay. I don't like going down steep downhills anyway, you know. end around there. Backed it in as they say. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dancing around those little whoops. All I remember is doing those that endless, endless section of whoops. It was exhausting, man. These little whoops are no problem though. All right, we're gonna go up that hill, hill climb, and that's pretty much it. Getting tired, I can't grip the throttle anymore. <laughs> I wish I had some stick pegs, you know? Oh. Woo! Yeah, that was it. That's pretty much it. That was trail three. Yeah, I did pretty good, man. So that's a um, Kojin de Hamex uh, Mojave Pro Shakedown. Did pretty good, did pretty good. This is the first time I've ridden it without all the, the weight on the bike with the Mojave Pro at Metcalf Motorcycle Park. Did pretty good, man. Uh, the really big jumps, you're gonna bottom out or something's gonna hit something, you know, but other than that, did really good. Oh, felt the foot pegs touch the ground there. Try not jumping, not jumping. How about that? It's hard to not jump it. Woo! Good job. All right, that was trail three. Pretty good. I'm gonna go get my ID card. All right, that's the end of the fun here at uh, Medcab Motorcycle Park. It was awesome. Now it's time to. Uh, do the rest of Metcalf Road and head on home. It's quite a busy day, but I didn't run into too many riders on the trails. <laughs> He's like, good job, Cactus Punch. Ah. Nice, just roll over that, no problem. <laughs> Alright, enough shenanigans, let's go. Woo! I know, I worked up quite a sweat. I'm getting, I'm looking forward to taking the twisties down here. It's not as twisty as a... It's not as twisty as the ride up, but uh... It'll be good, a uh, good cool down for me. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, man. It's been.
been a long time since I've gone out riding. Uh, I gotta get my trailer fixed so I can bring my dirt bike out there, you know? My quad. That's one thing, that's what I should be doing instead of going to the motorcycle park. Like, yeah, the DR is fun to ride on the trails, but you can't really ride it that fast, you know? Because it's so heavy, it doesn't, you know, go over the bumps quite as well as a dirt bike, you know? The dirt bike will just glide over the stuff that the, you know, the DR has trouble riding over, you know? Whee! But that is the best thing about a dual sport. I can ride it to the motorcycle park, do some off-road action, and then, uh, or OHV action, and then, um, and then hit the twisties, go on home. That, that is the spirit of dual sport, baby. Go wherever you want, when you want. Ah. <laughs> For the most part, anyway. <laughs> but, uh, oh, let's talk about the suspension. The, the, Mo the uh, Kojit Dynamics Mojave Pro. It did great, man. And uh, since the bike is raised, you know, I don't have to worry about hitting so much stuff. Uh, on, like, the really big jumps, like, you know, the stuff you would get, like, a lot of air on, on a, on a dirt bike. The DR will get air, but, like, it'll just, boom, it'll, like, the bottom will bottom out, you know. Uh, it's a good thing I got a skid plate. Uh, and, and but these, uh, big, these, uh, lowered foot pegs don't help at all. <laughs> I'll tell you that, man. But they do make it a lot more comfortable to, uh, they do make it a lot more comfortable to, uh, stand. Most of the time I was standing, so it's a good thing. But, uh, man, I remember the Alta, the suspension was so soft and it just soaked everything up so well, you know, but it was so light, it would never bottom out, you know. And um, you could probably sit on it most of the time, you know. <laughs> Not lying, that's how well it soaks it up, you know. That's the difference between a dirt bike and a, you know, heavyweight dual sport, you know. But I had a lot of fun riding the Alta and I had a lot of fun riding the DR. It's a totally different beast, that's for sure. <laughs> DR will not spin the tires like the Alta will.